The Sheriff's Department says it is launching an internal investigation after an activist group received hate email from an IP address associated with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. That activist group protested today at the Sheriff's headquarters. NPC 7's Wendy Fry is here with that story. Wendy. Mark Catherine, the subject line of the email starts with a string of profanities, and as our media partner, Voices San Diego.org, put it, you can just imagine how it went on from there, much of it too profane to broadcast. The police aren't the problem, it's the criminals out there victimizing the real citizens of this country that are the problem. The decriminalizing of theft and drugs, which is the root of more than half of crime. That's activist Catherine Mendonca reading the few parts of this bizarre email that we can actually broadcast on TV. They keep us safe. Look at Ferguson, for Christ's sake. They're, they protest police by destroying their own town, attacking each other, looting and stealing from hardworking business owners animals. Today at a press conference alerting the media to the email, she highlighted one of the most offensive parts of the email, she says, which was calling Ferguson protesters, quote, animals. It just perpetuates that lesser of a being, of being and uh, how much racism has been. It, it's still present to this day. Um, and it, it's still a hundred years of racism that we still need to overcome. Mendonca's group filed a complaint against the sheriff's department under penalty of perjury, saying the IP address shows the email originated at the San Diego Sheriff's Department headquarters. Sheriff's Lieutenant Marco Garmo responded today, saying the department is investigating. It appears a sh uh, an email came from a sheriff's IP address. We are taking this very seriously, and an internal investigation is underway to determine where, how, and who the email came from. As such, we are unable to provide any additional information at this time, but we are taking this matter very seriously. IT experts tell NBC7 that there is a chance that the IP address was spoofed or impersonated, but because of the way the email was sent from a WordPress comment form, it's not likely it was faked. The Sheriff's Department has not denied that one of their employees sent that email. Reporting on Wendy Fry, NBC7.